questions on the quick victory, Sullivan. I just want to ask you here, being a wrestler, you had your amateur experience, but how does it, how does that feel to you getting it done like that in your professional debut? Uh, I mean, like I said, it's a dream come true. I can't even explain to you how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously I'm a wrestler and the, the game plan was to, to mix it up, but um, you know, I, I just, I knew he would be concerned about being taken down because um, I think he's kind of weak off his back and uh, he kind of, I kind of froze him there with the feint and uh, just popped him with that right hand and put him down. And another thing I want to ask you here is talk to me, talk me through the, uh, the process of going uh, from straight wrestling into MMA. Was that process smooth for you? Um, I mean, it was long and hard, you know, I, like a lot of, uh, a lot of guys when they cross over into this sport, aren't, um, whatever sport they come from, they're not willing to go back to square one and be a true beginner to learn the other skills in MMA. And, and I was, you know, I walked into to Dan's gym in Mesa, my Muay Thai boxing coach, just a straight up wrestler, with absolutely no striking. And he told me, you know, he's like, you suck. And uh, it took a long time for me to get better, but you know, just three hours a night grinding it out. Here I am. I got some skills now. Hey, Sullivan, congratulations. Looking at the, the shot put down, it didn't look like you even got your full body weight into it, but can you talk me through like working on, on that shot? Did you feel like you would, when you landed it, did you feel like you had caught him cleanly and that you had really hurt him? Uh, I mean, I knew I hit him clean, but it, you know, especially right at the beginning of the fight, you have so much adrenaline running through your body. Like, your senses are i was fresh fresh as could be and i i feel like i exploded into it i, I mean i wasn't trying to sit down on it and hit him absolutely as hard as i can i was more just trying to touch him so i see, I see what you're saying but i hit him pretty hard <laughs> yeah for sure and and he wasn't able to recover from it um you talked a little bit to, to simon just there about uh the transition from wrestling to mma of course your, your opponent tonight he has a bit of an amateur background in mma he's fought you know quite a few times in the sport once a pro level um, can you talk to me about the process of moving from amateur to pro during this time period and, you know, have being able to train? I mean, where you obviously you're in Arizona, right? So it's a bit easier to train out there than than uh, most other states. But talk to me a bit about training throughout this last couple of months. Um, there was a there was a short time where uh, all the gyms were closed, but um, I'm I'm very close with all of my trainers. So, they, you know, we were doing just workouts in the backyard if we had to so i was working i'm always working out uh, always so i was working out the whole time um as far as getting a fight man it was really frustrating really really frustrating and um i know like i mean i know i actually needed to fight and they're just working on getting in so i mean i'm, I'm just i'm happy it was able to happen when it did all right you knocked this guy out in like less than 30 seconds. You don't have a scratch on. You didn't get touched. Do you want to get back in there quickly? I mean, I know the Bellator have one or two things going on before the end of the year. Are you looking to get back in there as soon as possible? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'd be open to it. I'll do whatever I'll do whatever Bellator wants me to do. If they want me back soon, then I'll be back. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Thank you.